Hi everyone, Joellen here, and welcome to today's portrait drawing and painting class. Today's demonstration is a master copy painted by Jean Auguis Dominique Angre. Angre was a French neoclassical painter who studied under Jacques David. He had a very interesting career full of many accomplishments and tribulations, and I hope you take time to research him. Before I get into my demonstration, I thought I would highlight two of his pieces, the Bather and the Comtesse. I've had the good fortune of seeing these in person, and they are stunning. I'd also like to share with you a quote by Ang. Drawing is three-fourths and a half of what constitutes painting. If I had to put a sign over my door, I would write School of Drawing, and I'm certain that I would create painters. With that, here is a list of supplies I will be using for today. Begin by staining my canvas with transparent red oxide and raw umber. Using raw umber, I will draw with my brush. First, I'll establish the highest point, then the low point at the bottom of the jaw, and next I will begin the block-in in the width of the head. Once I am happy with my simplified block-in, I will then go back and start to refine the shape. I'll pay particular attention to the placement of the hair and ear. Using some raw umber mixed with some cadmium orange, I will add in the shadow shape of the eye, the shadow shape under the nose, the shadow shape under the jaw, and then under the ear. I'll use that same combination to fill in the hair. Using white, orange, and umber, I will start to fill in some of the half tones. I'll pick up some white and yellow okra and key in the lightest areas of the form. Pick up some orange and add it down the nose and into the eye socket. Working wet into wet paint really allows me to blend and soften edges.
using raw umber, I'll add a dark background to the right hand side. You can see how this really shows off her profile. I'll also use the same paint to refine her features. Continue to work the shape of her face, trying to make any corrections as I go along and also trying to get that fullness or roundness. At this point, I should add in a little bit of the background on the left hand side. Using a combination of my white with my black, um, I'm a little bit too dark here, so I know I have to go in and just pick up some white and lighten it just a little bit. Let's see. Okay, I feel like that's a little better. some looser strokes for the bottom. It makes it feel a little more painterly. Using oxide and umber, I'll loosely indicate her neckline.
This demonstration took me about 40 minutes to complete, and I had a lot of fun. I hope you give it a try. If you enjoyed this demonstration, please like, comment, and subscribe. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Thank you.